First story. My girlfriend's best friend constantly bullies me in front of her, and my girlfriend brushed it off as one of his jokes. Today, he told me that seeing us together disgusts him and want us to break up, but she still took his side. Me and my so have been dating since before COVID started. We started dating a few weeks before pandemic stuff happened, so over three years now. We have been super happy together and got a place together at the start of the year. She has a friend, let's call him John. They have been BFFs since they were kids. He is very openly gay and is married to his husband. I met John once before the pandemic. He and his husband joined us on our second date. It was only recently that he was actually around and tried to do stuff with us and his husband. Honestly, I never liked John. He has always been someone who demands everyone pay attention to him. If you have an interesting story, he will constantly try to interrupt you and try to tell his own thing, which is always much cooler. If he cannot one-up you, he will immediately try to change the topic, or someone will call him out on his bullshit. He has always been somewhat hostile to me, to the point where I never really liked it. The last few months, he has pretty much just straight up started bullying me. Criticizing everything from my clothes to my appearance to even things I like. The last week, it got super effing bad when both me and my so mentioned we were going on vacation to Japan for a month, something we both wanted to do. John was apparently really hurt by it. Apparently, he and my so talked about that for years, but never did it due to COVID. I tried to be nice and suggested he and his partner come with us, and he told me he wouldn't ever want to go anywhere and be seen with a loser like me. Okay. Tonight was one of our mutual friend's birthdays, and John showed up after being invited by my so. At one point in the night, he pulled me aside when I went to the bathroom and spent five minutes throwing an insane amount of shade at me. Everything I do is disgusting. I am garbage. Then he outright told me to break up with my so, or he would do it for me because our relationship disgusts him. I have told my so multiple times like, hey, can you tell John to cool it? I don't like this. I don't want to be around him. John immediately denies everything I say. He also only does it when my so is not present. Tonight, I told her word for word what happened, and she just said she doesn't believe me at all. She has known him for a quarter of a century, and she has never seen anything like that. So I asked if she thought I was lying, and she said I was just embellishing what he was saying, and she can tell he is unhappy about our relationship. But that doesn't change anything for her. She loves me. And that is that. Honestly, I feel hurt. I feel she is always on his side. And it just makes me feel like SHT. I don't really know if I can continue this relationship. It just feels so stupid. Edit. Sorry, I just woke up, and I'm trying to read everything. Also, to clarify something, my general reaction is to be extremely nice, and just take it on the chin. All of her other friends love me, and some of them have mentioned they really dislike John. I need to leave for work, but I am going to try talking to her one final time, and if that fails, try to record it. Edit 2. Just before I run for work, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to give me advice. Thank you. Relevant comments. Miss Simone to you. And she just said she doesn't believe me at all. That's not an appropriate answer. She can tell he is unhappy about our relationship, but that doesn't change anything for her. She loves me, and that is that. Has she told him this? I don't really know if I can continue this relationship. It just feels so stupid. That's totally understandable. By not acting on this, your partner is worsening the conflict and allowing you to not feel hurt. If she can't trust you on this, why are you in a relationship at all, OP? She has made it very abundantly clear that we are a couple multiple times. However, I don't know if those exact words were said to John. Honestly, if it weren't for this issue, our relationship would basically be perfect which is why this hurts so much. Not really an elf. Just because he doesn't want to shag her doesn't mean he's not jealous that someone else is taking up her time. Unless there's something you're not telling us, it sounds like he's annoyed that his bestie is giving time and attention to someone who's not him. Has he ever approved of any of her relationships? OP. The only other previous relationship she had was an abusive one, and he played a big part in getting her out of that relationship. According to her. Also, yeah, I can somewhat see that when I finally moved back recently. Apparently he kept going on and trying to make plans with my so almost every single night. And that never happened as she works a fairly stressful job now. Dependent remove 326. Record him on your phone or get a recorder that can fit in your pocket. Stand up to him. Comments on your clothes. I didn't ask your opinion. Says you are a scum. Well, GF likes me. That's all that matters. That's my advice. Stand up and record. OP. Thanks. I am going to try recording. I have tried to reply back. 
and I have even gotten a few laughs from her friends. But he just tends to get even worse, and it becomes a massive annoyance. He acts like a child, and it drives me mad. Archangel 1962 One thing I don't understand. Why have you put up with this for so long? The second time he trash-talked you, I would have told him to F off. And every subsequent time after that he tried to talk to you alone, I would have just walked away. Why did you engage? Why don't you talk to John's partner? Tell him what's been happening. Ask him if John is really gay, or maybe he's bisexual and has carried a torch for your girlfriend. If he wants to F around with your relationship, you can F around with his. As for your girlfriend, I don't know. On the one hand, if you break up, John wins. But on the other hand, is there a future in a relationship where your girlfriend does not have your back? The petty and me would get a voice recorder, record him trash talking you, and play it back to your girlfriend saying, that's why you should have believed me, we're done. And then walk away and leave them all to sort out their SHT. Sorry, I probably haven't been of much help. At the very least, don't engage with John anymore. Anytime the two of you are left alone, just walk away. Whatever else you decide. Good luck, OP. Generally, I just ignore him when he does it. However, when he threw all that shade at me, he was literally blocking the hallway, preventing me from passing. I am a small guy. John is a big guy. Why don't you talk to John's partner? His partner is frankly just as bad as he is, even worse in some regards. All he ever does is put people down. Any comment you make to him, he treats it as a slight. Apparently, he was livid that my so apparently made a suggestion for the look of their new place. My so and him don't really get along. I'm going to try to record him. Update. I got a lot of good advice, so thank you all. Unfortunately, it does not have a good ending. I tried to talk to my so. I sat down with her and tried to have a serious conversation with her. I got him to stupidly rant about how much he thinks I am garbage over WhatsApp. He is apparently not racist, but his reasoning is, I am nowhere near attractive enough, apparently for her. I am, batting way above my league, and the only reason she is with me is pity. My career as a software developer contributes absolutely nothing to mankind. It gives me a better attitude than everyone else. I am, painfully boring, and just being around him makes him want to assault me physically. My voice is unbearably grating on him. I made a few comments explaining how petty that sounds, and he lost it over WhatsApp. I even got some of her own friends to comment and say they don't like to be around John. One of her friends ranted to me about John, saying he tried to make her destination wedding about him and his husband. Today, I sat down with her, explained how I felt, and showed her the conversation and the comments. I went with the angle that I don't want you to cut your best friend out of your life. I just don't want to be around this person at all, thinking it would be diplomatic. She took it very poorly and accused me of being manipulative by egging him on in the conversation I said, What is your problem with me? She said I am being extremely manipulative, and I am doing what her ex tried to do by controlling who she can be friends with. She told me she didn't want to be around me and need space, so she has decided to go stay with some family, while she sorts out her feelings. This evening, she messaged me and said our relationship is over, and she will collect her stuff when she calms down. She doesn't want to discuss it, as her decision is final. I am in shock right now. On top of that, it seems like she cut ties with a bunch of her friends who supported me. I don't understand her reaction at all, and I just feel devastated. Part of me just wishes I kept my mouth shut, but I just cannot take being bullied and ignored by someone who is supposed to love me. I feel lost and hurt, I guess. So sorry, but thank you for all the nice comments, relevant comments. Definitella Singri. Honestly man, you are probably better off. The whole situation sounds toxic and you'll find someone who won't think it's normal for her friends to make you feel like SHT. She clearly has mental issues, OP. This is what most of my friends have been telling me. It just really stinks. Everything aside from him was fantastic in my eyes. I don't know. Second story. OP's entitled girlfriend took flowers from her ex on her birthday, and refused to tell him who gifted them, but OP knows, then blamed him for not making an effort, even though she ignored him, so OP broke up with her. Hey all. The last few days have been rough on my relationship. So I was looking for some neutral opinions on the situation. The situation goes as follows. I-22M was on the phone with my girlfriend 24F the evening before her birthday. At around 12.30am on the morning of her birthday, she received flowers not from me. I was specifically told by her not to get her flowers on her birthday, after which she brought them in, asked if I was still on the phone, then said she was going to bed. When I asked who they were from, she said she hadn't read the card yet. Later that day, when we were talking, I brought up how this made me uncomfortable, 
and she went into how I do not trust her, and how that is not okay. When the question of whether she kept the flowers came up, she mentioned she did, and has them in a vase, and will absolutely not be getting rid of them. What should I do about this? Edit for clarity. I did not ask her to throw them out. Her reply was in response to me, asking if she kept them. The ex did deliver them. My ex and I have had some contact. But I am only told about work-related things. Edit 2. For clarity, to my understanding, the ex dropped them off. But he was not present when she opened the door and saw them. Her justification for not knowing who they were from was that the note was signed with the initials of a name he used to be called. By her sister's friends, e.g. HF. After bringing it up, she ended the conversation with something to the extent of, I want tomorrow to be about me. So if you can't do that, let's wait to talk until the weekend. Ultimately, I decided to put it on hold, let her birthday pass, and then deal with it. I sent her a very lengthy and sweet birthday message with five six lines on it, to which I received a simple thank you. After she replied, I gave her a call offering to grab her something from her favorite breakfast spot, and I was told she didn't want it, and that she was going to go back to sleep. After this I felt like she did not want to interact with me that day, so I did not push any further. Later she texted me, quite upset that I had not made any effort for her that day. Later that night we had a FaceTime, and I wanted to listen to why she felt the way she did, apologize for the way things turned out, and attempt to explain why I did what I did. Today, I received a lengthy chain of texts saying she was talking to her sister, and she thinks I am trying to manipulate her, and basically explain how she felt like I tried to blame her for the way things turned out. I don't want this to be the case. I don't want it to feel like I'm blaming her for anything when I try to talk about why I felt the way I did. I've apologized and acknowledged that I misinterpreted her desires. Even aside from the flower thing, what are some ways to talk to people about your feelings without making it seem like you're blaming them? I also tried to take her out in the evening, which she did not want to do, and rather decided to have a discussion about things, which is why the flowers got brought back up. Edit 3. We are going to have a talk tomorrow. I will update after. Thank you everyone for the replies. They have been very helpful. Comments. Stay a thumbs familiar. Who delivers flowers at 12.30 a.m.? Ex-boyfriends. That's who. McSusie. That was the one part of this tale that seemed quite suspicious to me. But the OP isn't the least bit concerned about that. OP. I did get her gifts. When I tried to plan things in advance, she told me, let's do something after, because she was going to be busy with work and have dinner with her parents. I still made multiple attempts to do things with her on the day. I hope this provides additional context. Azaraf. Hang on. Did she volunteer those words about keeping them on her own, without you mentioning anything about them other than who they were from? Before or after you asked, there's not much context to go on. OP sorry, I should have been more clear. I had to work a bit to get who it was from. A bit later, I asked if she kept them, and she said she would absolutely not get rid of them. Update. One day later, we have had our talk, and I ended things. I approached the breakup from the perspective of not being compatible with our methods of communication. I wanted to keep it as civil as possible, as we are part of some small circles in terms of career and friends, so I'd like to maintain a solid perception. At some points, she tried to take it in the direction of an argument. However, I just made it very clear that I was not here to argue or work anything out, and that I felt like we would not be able to handle disagreements well in the future, so it was best to call things off. I appreciate all the comments and replies. I felt the way many of you had iterated manipulated, gaslit, emotionally invalidated etc. But I tried my best to not bias the updates with those emotions to try to get as neutral of opinions as possible. Honestly. Right now I just feel relieved. Which I think is very telling. Additional update. I did not include this in the original post, because I was so emotionally drained at that point, and did not feel like typing it out again, I had told other close friends over text. But I think the thing that really sealed it beyond belief, was how she responded to my last attempt to try and make things better. On the day she spoke to her sister. I responded to the manipulation text with something to the extent that I see you, and I hear what you are saying. I had no intention of making you feel that way, and I'm sorry that I did. To which she responded that she's sorry that I did too, and that she was going to go nap. Later that day, I texted to ask if she was free, and after three hours, I basically got a no, but I could drop some stuff off. At this point, I had been running out while she was not responding and gathering all of her favorite foods and treats, along with writing a card. After I gave it to her, I went back and texted things along these lines. If you want the pastries, please take them back. I'm so confused. Was this supposed to make anything better? And, you hardly looked at me. At this point, 
I was pretty much done and replied with something like, I know I'm not perfect, but I'm not going to be told I'm not trying when I am. And, when I try to do something, I can't have it where only the things I did wrong are acknowledged. At this point, she finally made some attempt to be understanding, saying thank you for the gifts, and that she didn't say I wasn't trying to me. It seemed like I only got that response because it seemed like I was finally done. In any case, it is over now, and it is time to move on. I don't think she physically cheated as many in the comments do. However, at this point, I do not care. All I hope is that I will know what to look for next time and find someone who works better for me personally. Thank you to everyone for the advice and for listening to me and my problems. I hope everyone here has a wonderful day. Comments. Apprehensive Area 30762. Based on the title alone, I was iffy. But after getting about halfway through your post, I was feeling like you should call this whole thing off. And I'm glad you ended up doing just that. Good luck in your future endeavors. Third story. Entitled husband forced OP to make a Reddit post sharing her struggles for a reality check. And now he refusing to reading the comments after Reddit took OP's side. I 22F have been with my partner 29M for three years. And our daughter is four months old. He makes sure to let me know how lazy I am. Even though I'm the only one to care for our daughter or clean our house. He works a lot, and when he comes home, he spends a couple hours on the game, and he might hold our daughter for a couple minutes. He says that since I'm staying home to care for our infant alone, I should have dinner made, and the dogs and pigs should be fed, watered obviously, and walked. Trash should be burned. Dishes should be clean. Floor swept and mopped. His other kids' rooms are clean. Every surface was wiped down. He also says that there are gender roles, and this is what a woman should do to keep her man happy. According to him, I don't deserve to be loved until I've finished the chores, put the baby to sleep by myself, and made sure that he feels loved and cared for. Our daughter won't take a bottle, and he won't help me with bottles, so I can't go back to work, but I'm also not helping financially. He doesn't stay up with our daughter. If I don't initiate SX, we don't have SX. He straight up said he wouldn't touch me in ways that please me because he's not in high school. I feel crazy. He's obsessed with the concept of disrespect. Everything I do is disrespectful if the dishes aren't clean, if the floors are not mopped, if I leave little trinkets around the house, if I started projects that I didn't get to finish and forgot about when the baby woke up, or if the baby has been a little fussy and I'm feeding her when he gets home, I'm a fat lazy waste of space and why didn't I get anything done today? I don't text him throughout the day, telling him sweet little nothings, so I must not love him. I can't choose between being a mom and a partner, even though sometimes I have to because my daughter is not capable of caring for herself. It's like he's mad that I can't be his mother for him, right? So Reddit. What do y'all think? Please be honest, because he will absolutely be seeing every word. Comments. The Helvetica. And pigs should be fed. He is talking about himself here, or extra long Garcicrack. Pigs are cute, intelligent, and capable of complex emotions. So no, it would be disrespectful to the pig. Hachib. I'm going to go ahead and say there's a reason why his other baby mama is proudly wearing her title of X. And you should probably go ahead and explore that same title. And also wear it with pride once achieved. OP. Other 2 BMS. Seastial waves. Girl. What are you doing? Naswet Prince Andrew. Maybe OP is colorblind and mistook all the red flags for green ones. Minute Aeoli 5054. I've read this. And I want to divorce your husband for you. Saiyan Princess 28. So you know what stood out to me aside from the obvious and ridiculous double standards he has. That he won't touch her in a way that pleases her because he's not in high school. Oh yeah, Miff? Then for your pleasure and comfort, because I ain't in high school, so why should you matter to me? Obviously, that's the least of their issues because he's an abusive pos. But that really rubbed me wrong. I've been married to my husband for over a decade and been with him since I was 16. And he prides himself on how well he pleasures me. 16 years together and he never prioritized his pleasure over mine. In fact, the only time he was selfish in bed was when we were in high school. This guy's math ain't math. A message for OP's husband. You are a terrible husband and father. You don't deserve your wife and all she does for you. You are not more important than her, and just because you don't appreciate all the unpaid labor she puts into you, and your household doesn't mean another man wouldn't. I hope she leaves your sorry arse. Then you can make your own house spotless, cook all your own meals, Take care of your own kids, and please yourself. She ain't your mom. Update. Seven days later. There were some things I didn't like like being infantilized, but everyone is entitled to an opinion. And that's okay. I tried to show him the post, and he didn't really want to look at it. And he said my question should have been, 
Should I get mad when he asks me to clean up after myself? And that I just spent the whole post probably victimizing myself and yada yada. The only problem with what he's saying is that I do clean up after myself. Just not on his timetable like if I make dinner. I'm not cleaning the kitchen till the next morning. And I'm not sweeping and mopping more than once in the morning. And as needed because the puppy isn't all the way house trained yet. And that's a problem for him because of his OCD. I can only be so understanding when it takes a toll on my self-esteem and sanity. I've been telling him for the last few days that I want to leave him. But he just rationalizes and diffuses the situation enough to go right back to what he was doing before. He straight up asked me what was wrong when he volunteered me to take two kids and infant and a puppy to the park after we ate when it was almost dark. And when I told him it's a lot, he just swept it under the rug and basically told me to get over it. I should be lucky to spend time with his kids. He doesn't care about how overstimulated I get sometimes. I spent Easter alone today and all I really did was sleep and it felt nice. I've been so exhausted with everything. But yeah, he didn't want to read the post. Comments. Jasper Johns. He definitely wanted to read the other post. He was the one suggesting your post here. Somehow, he changed his mind when he realized that all of the replies were in your favor. My reply in the other post was, Your husband is horrible. I stand by that. I feel terribly for you. You're treated like a slave, and he does not care for you at all. Even if he did read every reply in the original post, he would just dismiss any that differed from his worldview, uh, that would be all of them, because he is so convinced of his superiority and self-righteousness. Ned Stark raving mad. Your update essentially states that your controlling, overbearing dad husband remains controlling and overbearing, even after you try to talk to him again. I don't know how he can be any clearer about not caring about you or your feelings, but only caring about what you can do for him. Please leave for your own good. OP. Working on it. I was crying in the kitchen as I made my dinner when he was supposed to bring home food. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight with my infant. I have her in a co-sleeper at the opposite end of me. I have insomnia most of the night, so I won't actually sleep until he's at work in the morning. Flexbox. So now he's punishing you because he looks bad. Get out before this escalates to physical abuse, if it hasn't already. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.